Now, the family of a British man who was volunteering in Ukraine have confirmed that he and his colleague have been killed. We'll get more on this now from Sky's Emma Birchley. And, uh, Emma, what have the family said? Yeah, this confirmation coming from the family of 28-year-old Chris Parry, that both he and his colleague Andrew Bagshaw, a 48-year-old, had been killed uh, while volunteering in Ukraine. They'd been there working in the Donetsk region, um, helping with humanitarian efforts and with civilian evacuation. And they were on their way from Kramatorsk, heading for Solidar at 8 a.m. on Friday, the January the 6th, when they were last seen. Uh, contact was lost and then the following afternoon uh, they were reported missing. So uh, this evening we have received a statement via the Foreign Office from Chris Parry's family. It says, it is with great sadness we have to announce that our beloved Chrissy has been killed along with his colleague Andrew Bagshaw whilst attempting a humanitarian evacuation from Solidar, eastern Ukraine. His selfless determination in helping the old, young and disadvantaged there has made us and his larger family extremely proud. He found himself drawn to Ukraine in March in its darkest hour at the start of the Russian invasion and helped those most in need, saving over 400 lives plus many abandoned animals. It's impossible to put into words how much he will be missed but he will be forever in our hearts. And I think that's something that Chris himself had told Sky News on a number of occasions, that need to go and work there. He was drawn to help. So, something the families have been dreading, dreading but now that confirmation that both Chris Parry and Andrew Bagshaw have been killed in Ukraine. OK, Emma, thank you very much indeed for that. And uh, while Emma's been talking, uh, we've had uh, a statement from the family of Andrew Bagshaw, who, as Emma was saying, was killed alongside Chris Parry. Uh, and this says, it has been confirmed that our son, Dr Andrew Bagshaw, has died. He and a colleague, Chris Parry, were attempting to rescue an elderly woman from Solidar in an area of intense military action when their car was hit by an artillery shell. The Ukrainian authorities and government officials in New Zealand and London have been working hard to learn more details, but little further is known about the circumstances of his death. Due to official legal processes in Ukraine, it'll be some time before Andrew's remains are returned to New Zealand. Andrew selflessly took many personal risks and saved many lives. We love him and are very proud indeed of what he did. Uh, that from the family of Dr Andrew Backshaw, killed alongside Chris Parry, according to the Bagshaw family, uh, when an artillery shell hit their car near Solidar in the east of Ukraine when they were trying to evacuate an elderly woman.